Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former heavyweight champion of the world, Prince Charles Martin. Originally from Gamagay, Cuba, now fighting out of here in Miami, Florida, here is Luis King Kong Ortiz. This is our main event, ladies and gentlemen, on Saturday night on Fox Sports PBC Pay-Per-View, Luis Ortiz and Prince Charles Martin. Now we will shift our attention to our main event of the evening. This is an IBF heavyweight title eliminator matchup between Prince Charles Martin and Luis King Kong Ortiz. And Charles, typically two southpaws matching up against each other is a rarity. What is your thoughts on fighting the former heavyweight title challenger in Luis King Kong Ortiz, literally pretty much in his backyard because he resides here in the Miami area? Well, first, I want to thank PBC for giving me this opportunity to headline a show. Secondly, um, yeah, man, this, this, this will be a, a great fight, man. You know what I mean? Um, two southpaws, you don't really see that too often in the heavyweights. Um, so you'll definitely get your... Um, get your thrills with the with the boxing because because we're both good boxers, you know. And um secondly, you're going to get a knockout because we ain't going 12 rounds. So you're predicting a knockout. Someone's I'm going to sleep. Knockout. No, I'm going to knock him out. Luis, when you hear that Charles Martin says he's going to knock you out, what is your response? Bueno, agradecido siempre, agradecido siempre a Dios por la oportunidad a PBC a Jaime, a my manager, my team. Nah, cuando, cuando eso llega a mis oídos, solo me río. Yo, mi trabajo, todo el mundo sabe, que me conoce, de que, desde que vive aquí, siempre he, he ido a, a hacer lo mejor que yo sé hacer, que es tirar piñazo. Y, y eso, eso me causa, me causa risa porque yo me mantengo siempre enfocado. No te digo que un golpe... Eh, entra porque cada usador sabe que es un golpe de fin en la pelea pero eso eh, eh, está bien dicho por él está bien dicho que la, la pelea va a terminar por, por nocao va a terminar por nocao la eh, pelea no, no, no va a llegar un dos asaltos eso de que empieza el asalto eh, sé que él viene con muchas malas intenciones pero yo también las traigo eso es lo que va a suceder well, first of all, I want to thank PBC. I want to thank Al Heyman, my team, that's worked hard with me uh, to uh, have me here on fight night. And when uh, somebody says that's going to be a knockout, it really brings a, a smile. It brings laughter to me because, uh, you know, everybody says that. And uh, you're fighting against a fighter in, in Luis Ortiz that uh, has been through these ropes before. Um, and basically what he's saying is that's good that he's saying that because I'm also coming with that intention. He's coming with bad intentions, and so am I. So any round that comes out, you can get hit with a shot. We all know that, but that shot will come from him. The one thing in talking with one of our Fox colleagues, the legendary trainer and outstanding analyst Joe Goosen, is that there is nothing more exciting than that of heavyweight boxing. We have five exciting fights coming your way on Saturday night. Getting back to Charles Martin. Charles as you go ahead, you had a heavyweight title reign, but do you feel like you have been unfairly judged by the public because people look at that and said, well, it was such a short reign that you had, and how hungry are you to get back to challenging for the world title? I know that you mentioned that you want to run it back at some point against Anthony Joshua, but there's a focus, there's a determination out of you that I haven't seen in a long time, if not ever, because I really feel like you're locked in heading into this fight against Luis Ortiz. Man, um, you know, there, there, it just wasn't. I didn't get a fair shake with that one. We don't want to talk about that one. You know, you know, it, it'll happen. This is the revenge tour. Right now, I'm focused on Ortiz, so he'll be number one out of these four fights that I plan on doing before I retire. Tell us about what do you mean? Four more fights, and then you want to retire? So no more than you want to do? No more than four more fights? All big fights. You know, I want to. I, I want to fight Joshua twice. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a, I want to whoop that ass back to back. 
Tell us about the preparation you've had with Manny Robles. Manny Robles, former trainer of Andy Ruiz, former heavyweight champion of the world. But you and Manny seem to have this chemistry with each other. And what have you guys been working on as you prepare for Luis King Kong Ortiz on Saturday? Yeah, we've been we've been doing a lot of work, man. You know, pe people only see what happens in that ring. You don't see what goes on behind closed doors, you know. So that's one thing that 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 people need to take into consideration because even even with that Joshua fight, that that what you what you see, it, you know, that's only what you've seen right there. You know what I mean? So we're not we're not even worried about that. Um, I got I got some business to take care of on Saturday, and that's what it is, man. We've been working hard for it. Um, and we ready. Luis, here at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida, you're undefeated. Is it nice to be able to have sort of a home game for you and be fighting close to where you reside and you train under the guidance of Herman Caicedo, another outstanding trainer in our sport? Sí, sí. Eh, para mí, eh, me siento orgulloso ya que eh, hice mi debut aquí donde estoy. Y nada. Yo cha, oí a Charles Martin decir que él se preparó muy contento para pelear conmigo, pero eh, cuando llegue el momento en el ring eh, que él pensa, piensa verme de una manera y me va a ver de otra, porque ahí arriba yo eh, soy un boxeador que, que me adapto a las dificultades. No, I'm very proud to make my debut here and win it uh, in grand fashion here at, uh, in Hollywood, Florida, in Fort Lauderdale. And, uh, and I'm glad uh, that uh, he trained very well for this fight because once he sees me in the ring, he's going to have to uh, find a difficult fighter, a fighter that adapts, and uh, we'll see how it goes when he sees me in, in the ring side by side. Charles, do you think that if you're successful against Luis Ortiz on Saturday night, then, then you can go ahead and become and challenge for the heavyweight championship of the world in your next fight? You know, I'm 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 gonna remain hopeful. You know, but you know, the la the last fight was for a title eliminator. So we, we we you know these things we never know. And like I said, you know, time and time again, I never overlook my opponent. I'm never focused on a championship fight after because I have to get through this man first. So he's the only opposition that I see at this moment. All right, Charles Martin, Luis Ortiz, at 42 years of age. People want to know, how's your body feeling as you go ahead? And, and I would say that this is the latter stages of your career. But, you know, as we look at your performance, you're coming off of a win over Alexander Flores back at the end of November of last year. So about a 14-month layoff for you. But how are you feeling physically heading into this matchup at 42 years of age? Principalmente, mi mente está, está fuerte. Tengo mi mente enfocada en lo que... Mi mente está enfocada en lo que yo quiero, eso no cabe duda. Y lo otro, eh, el Saru el 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 Nai va, van a ver eh, cómo está King Kong eh, físicamente y mentalmente encima de ring. First of all, my mind is 100%. My mind is healthy and that's what counts. And second of all, well, you'll see on Saturday night how physically prepared am I. All right, Luis Ortiz, Charles Martin, both men predicting knockouts. Ten heavyweights, ladies and gentlemen. This is your Fox PBC pay-per-view on Saturday night, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific time from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Both men are southpaws. Both men high, have high knockout percentages. Both men looking to put each other away. Expect fireworks as begin 2022 with a bang. Thank you very much. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.